everybody, welcome to the Dano channel. I am Dano, and in today's video, I'm going to talk about something that I see get argued over and debated all the time, especially when ticket prices go up. But I want to know, is Disneyland still a good value? Let's find out. So every year when ticket prices go up in Disneyland parks, people like to get upset and start talking about what would be turning over his grave. Oh, he'd hate to see what the company had become nowadays. Flubba, 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 flubba. Because, you know, that's how you sound. So let's take a look at what it cost to get into the park when it first opened back in 1955 versus today. So back when Disneyland opened in 1955, it cost $1 to get into the park, but that was literally just to get you in the park. And you had to buy a ticket for each set attraction. When Disneyland first opened, there were 38 different attractions to choose from. Nine of them were free, seven of them were A tickets, nine of them were B tickets, 12 of them were C tickets, and just one of them was a special ticket that cost 50 cents. To do everything all in one day would actually cost you about $7.60. Using an inflation calculator, we can see that $7.60 is actually the equivalent to $67.67 .67 in today's 2015 money. Nowadays, a one-day, one-park ticket will cost you 99 bucks, but who is crazy enough to go to Disneyland for just one day and go to one park? Using multi-day park hopper ticket pricing, a three-day park hopper would cost you $91.67 per day. So that means over 60 years, the price has only gone up 24 bucks. So along with that price going up, the amount of attractions has also gone up to over 60. Plus, we have a second park, California Adventure. Not bad for 24 bucks. Another thing to consider is that is only if you ride everything just one time. Now, let me ask you this. How many times do you go on one ride more than once? Let's say it's late at night, no one's on Splash Mountain, or even early morning and you get the first thing, like you should, and you get to ride one of your favorite rides a couple times in a row before it really gets busy. Each one of those extra rides would cost you more money. But I don't have any more money. And just think about the quality of the rides. Back then, there was no Space Mountain, there was no Indiana Jones, Star Tours, Haunted Mansion. I gotta say, to me, it seems like we're getting a pretty good deal nowadays. If you guys don't believe me, check the links down below. You can see where I got my numbers from. But I want to know what you think. Do you think Walt would be happy today with the way things are going with Disney parks? Do you think they're charging way too much? Let me know down below. I want to hear your thoughts, and let's get into a little argument about it. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want more Disney info, be sure to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you like what you heard, like what you saw. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.